Next to so many different stages of their careers. How are you approaching this spring? Uh, we're looking at it experience-wise. You know, uh, we're trying to get the young guys a lot of reps. And then, you know, you got your guys with experience with Holloway and Shumper with uh, uh, tremendous experience. So we're working the young guys, but keeping the, the experienced guys fresh. How different does the mindset have to be for a guy like me? got to have a great mindset now. they got to be ready to go. You know, they know that uh, what they're up against, and so they're working hard to make sure that they get everything done correctly. So, again, I, I talk to them every day about knowledge. You know, knowledge is power. The smarter you are, the better player you'll be. They probably heard me say that a thousand times. They probably hear it a thousand more times. But the smarter they are, the better player they will be. Brandon talks about how all the running backs have a different skill set. Just how big is it that that to have a variety of different running backs? I like variety, and variety is good. You know, they all bring something a little different to the table. Uh, you know, all of them except for Holloway, they got they got that explosive power size with them. You know, where Holloway is going to beat you with his speed and quickness, they can beat you with that power. Just watching Holloway this spring, it looks like he's improved a lot from last fall. What have you seen from him so far? He's fresh. He's experienced. You know, and, and and when you know what you're doing, you don't ever think. You just react. You know that that that's what he that's the stage he's at right now, and he's performing at a high level. What's different is it for him? I guess they're used to having Dak back there, but with such a, a wide variety of guys getting quarterback reps, has it changed their mindset or does their – No, it hasn't idea? changed their mindset. Now, for Holloway and Shepard, they are still in their comfort zone. Whether Dak's there or, or Nick Fitzgerald or Damon, doesn't matter to him. Now, the younger guys, you know, they don't know who's next to them. They're trying to get a play and get lined up right now. But, you know, Eris Williams, Dontavian Lee – they're, they're, they're getting into that comfort zone where they really starting to feel comfortable back there, regardless of who's back there. You know, the younger guys, they probably need their experienced quarterback, Nick Fitzgerald, next to them to help them out, you know. But they're, they're, they're getting it. Watching some of the drills and uh, interior drills there, you were using a couple of uh, two-back sets a few times with uh, Shumpert and Lee practically playing something like a fullback. Is that something you want to add to the offense this year? We do. You know, again, we, we got uh, – Got a good group of guys that are very skilled, very talented, and playmakers. So, you know, you want to get your playmakers on the field, and when we feel that those guys can make plays for us. How would you compare uh, Gibson and Murphy at this stage? They're coming along. You know, this is early in, in spring practice, you know, just number four right now. Yeah. Uh, but they are they are learning it. And actually, Nick came up to me after practice and said, Coach, you know, I learned something today. I said, well, if you learned something, you became a better player today. So, they're, they're learning. With six uh, scholarship backs, how do you kind of spread those reps around each day? Well, number one, they're competing, all right? So, I, again, I take my, my veteran guys. They don't need as much as the younger guys do, all right? So I, I get the veterans in, get them the reps they need, then get those younger guys in there and let them go a little bit more than the veterans.